Hey guys, December the 2nd, it's time for our second night of reading of Advent. <clears throat> Tonight we're going to be in the Old Testament. We're going to be in Isaiah chapter 9 verses 2 through 7. So Isaiah chapter 9 verses 2 through 7. Now Isaiah was a prophet and this is part of his prophecy that he's talking about here. So I'm going to start reading there. Again, Isaiah 9, verses 2 through 7. Verse 2 starts, The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of the shadow of death, upon them a light has shined. You have multiplied the nation and increased its joy. They rejoice before you according to the joy of harvest, as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. For you have broken the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, as in the day of Midian. For every warrior's sandal from the noisy battle and garments rolled in blood will be used for burning and fuel of fire. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. So guys what it's talking about here as we start in those first few verses there. It's talking about how God led his people out of darkness, out of Egypt, into the promised land and how they rejoice, how the nation of Israel has grown. And here there is the promise of a child that will come that will be the ruler of the government and bring peace. And that's what a lot of people look for. That's what everyone was looking for when, the, when Christ came the first time. They were looking for a warrior that would lead the government, that would bring peace to the, to the nation of Israel and, and, and uh, stop the oppression from the people that were surrounding them. And what they got was a prophet, a, a teacher that came in a peaceful manner. So what they saw when Jesus came the first time was not what they were expecting, what, what they interpreted this to be. Um, but guys, what we see here is that there's a promise of a child that's going to come, the child of God that's going to bring peace to the world. And uh, man, what a, what a wonderful thing to read and see there. So guys, I love you. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow night. And y'all keep praying.